Hello, hello everyone, I am Darkness and welcome back to Life is Strange Before the Storm. We're in episode one, Awake. I didn't want to start it off so waking you up and jarring by that music in the background, so I started off in the journal, but uh, we're gonna get out of this and get right back into the denial of mosh pits, must get better view from balcony. So, and I still got that bar icon. If my, if my face is in the top right, uh, there is there. Otherwise, you'll see it. Um, I remember last time I put it in the top right. I keep pointing that direction and like it's gonna be there. Um, because there were dialogue things that happened in the top left. We'll see. We'll see when I'm editing w what I'm gonna do. Please don't die going up the- well, she can't- Pretty sure she doesn't die. Ooh, bad joke though. Oh, yes! Finally made it! I can't believe it! I can believe it. Don't jump! You said it was bad! Did I get her that drunk off of one beer? Oh, I can leave. So I'm literally just sitting here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I can walk away! I'm yelling like I'm in the- I could just turn down the thing at any time. I'm yelling like I'm actually there. Insult, apologize, walk away. Am I gonna play into Chloe, or am I gonna- I really wanna play into her, but I also wanna- She doesn't walk away, though. She doesn't apologize all that much either. Then how about I show you how unimpressed I am with limp dick assholes who get butt hurt over a spilled beer? I think she's calling us out, dude. Oh she's wow. She's going to regret every word. Every word. Uh-oh. Oh, this is going to be good. I'm going to teach this little punk some man. I'm serious. You want to see me get angry here because I'm getting there. And it won't be pretty. It won't. She thinks she can take you? Hey, dickhead. Ooh, choose carefully. This action will have consequences. That is exactly why I would put my- Illuminati confirmed! Uh, that is exactly why I put my head usually in the other spot. Um... Um, no, 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 she's helping out. I'm not going to attack. No. We're up in the balcony. They already warned this stairs are crumbling and the balcony's crumbling. I'm not going to take a chance of actually hurting this guy or making him hurt himself on his own stuff. Run. Rachel? That's Rachel? What up, Rachel? Hurry up! Damn, I'm caught up in a trance Of you still let it go A voice you feel the pain Lost, no one gave it to us Let me go, Frank! Frank. Not gonna happen, calm down Come on, man! Walk away! Screw this! It's because of Rachel Get the fuck out of here! Oh, gosh
Well, I can see why she was attracted to her immediately. Oof. I can't believe that's Rachel. Uh, the, the earrings should have been the giveaway for me. Oh, the music. I missed this music. I didn't miss the copyright infringement that the videos were getting because of the music. I missed the music. But I got the deluxe edition, so I can do a playlist of this anytime. Middle finger statue, that's cool. Oh, this is your opening? I, I was just in your... Okay, cool. I'm leaving the music in. It doesn't matter copyright infringement or not. This is part of it. This is... I can't take this out without taking away part of the experience. By the way, yes, Deck 9 with this instead of uh, Don't Nod. By the way, I'm an idiot. Just want to confirm I'm an idiot. I said 14 or 15 was a possible age. She's a year older uh, than Max. And I believe she was a year out. And Max was a, Max Caulfield is a senior when we play her. Uh, um, if she's a year out, three years back, this makes her somewhere between uh, 15 and 17 give or take a few months. I can't remember her exact birthday, but she's probably 16. So. Not, I threw out 14 as a possibility. It's not a possibility. Sometimes all I want to do is shut my eyes and tell the world to go to hell. Probably shouldn't have drank. I mean, that was my choice, but still. Daily rituals are important, even when they involve writing unread letters to friends who have forgotten you. Wow. Max the loser. Yeah, that's right. I called you a loser. Want to know why? Because you weren't at Firewalk last night. Even Frank was there. He's my dealer. Or mom, if you're reading this. He's my dealer, and you shouldn't be reading this. <laughs> It was maybe the greatest night of my life. I hiked to this old mill using the train tracks, then verbally abused this dumb bouncer until he let me inside. No, you were kinda nice about it, considering who you are. Firewalk was the shit. Who knew ragers like that went down in little old Arcadia Bay? Fuck Seattle. Plus I almost got my ass kicked. Uh, NBD, but there, uh, there were these two assholes, skeevy guys. Skeevy? Who man, uh, whose manhood I wrecked. Yeah, she, she told, oh yeah, almost got cut by a bottle. This, that's wrecking manhood. Oh yeah, and I got rescued by the most popular girl at school. How was your night, loser? Firewalking Chloe greater than Max. So, oh, oh, that's how they really, like, met and st So was, no, Rachel, what? When they first met, Rachel wasn't with Frank yet. They knew each other and started a relationship behind Chloe's back, and that's what made Chloe mad about it. So, not quite yet, I don't believe. Frank. For a drug dealer, Frank Bowers is actually uh, pretty cool, uh, chill. He likes to act like he's a tough guy, and I have no doubt that he's done a few messed up things over the years. But to me, he's like a scruffy dog. The tougher he tries to come off, the cuter he seems. I've been buying weed from Frank for close to a year. I almost never have enough money to pay him, and he always tells me, It's the last fucking time, Chloe. I'm not your fucking friend. Then he always gives it to me anyway. Like I said, the guy's adorable. Of course, if I ever did anything to actually get on Frank's bad side, he might not seem so cuddly anymore. I hear Frank rolls with some dudes who, aren't into way, who are into way darker shit than keeping high schoolers medicated. It's hard to imagine Frank getting mixed up with anything really bad, but I guess you never know. For now, I'll just keep hoping that Frank is even worse at remembering who owes him money than he is at being intimidating. No, he... 
I'll tell you, people people that deal, there's a lot of things they'll forget, especially if they're using their own product. One thing they will not is how much that dime bag weighs and how much you owe them. So, anything else? No. Oh, a place. I didn't unlock a place before that. No. Oh, God, no. There's already a document I missed. Oh, God, no. Oh, I am I fail at life. Oh, crap. Oh, well, I'm going to be playing this more than once, so it doesn't matter. Hey, Max. Hey, Dad. Another day in paradise. Right? <laughs> Whoa! Wakey, 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 wakey. Who actually says that? Last night, seeing Firewalk live. The skeevy assholes. That girl. Was that really Rachel Amber? Yeah, it was. You smell like cigarettes and beer. Better change clothes. Hey, I got a new t-shirt that probably smells like even more cigarettes and more beer. She was a good uh, student at one point. Ste Man, I Terrible. am killing it this year. Somehow I don't think mom's going to feel the same way. Yeah, so, um... If you see my midterm report card, we saw in her old file at the school that there was a point in time where she was doing well before the accident. So, uh, we saw actually that it was Max who struggled, Chloe who aced it, uh, did better, and Rachel, who was not only the most popular, but freaking perfect student. Um, inconsistent, capable of better, absences, uh, parent-teacher re conference recommended, absences, disruptive, difficult, unfocused, tutors available, absences. She's, she's been gone a lot. Let's trash that. Yeah, no one needs to see that. Thank you. All right, let's do some things in the room and see if I can't make that first. That really was Rachel Amber. And she saved my life. How was last night even real? Um, Warren Graham. Ah, uh, Warren. And I, his outline is pretty obvious now. Warren, Chloe. Um, uh, Zach, I, I see that too. Everyone else is kind of just kind of blobs. Um, Brooke, hey Brooke, okay. I recognize that a little bit, Juliet. Victoria, yeah, that would be her. I see which blob is Victoria and which one is Nathan. And Rachel's got the earring on the bottom right, so it's, okay, okay. Who's the, who's the, who's the top right? They look pretty distinct also, but I, I don't know who that is. All right, so look, class photo. Wait a second. Oh, I just looked at it. Look. One of these days, I'm actually going to use you to do my homework. Nope. Ask Miss Arcadia. You're the only source of info I trust in this town. All right. What? Who? What photo? Uh, Victoria Chase commented on a photo you're tagged in. Yeah, I, I'm, try I'm trying. I have feelings about this. Most of them are not good feelings. Uh-oh. Yeah, well, everyone's gonna know. Uh, Victoria, you look hot. hot. Who's the arm candy? Oh, this is Rachel posting it. Uh, Deborah, Deborah something? Well, at least I got the name wrong. Juliet. I remember. Isn't she pregnant in the first? Is, or is that a roommate? Uh, dude, that's Chloe Price. Oh, crap. Cover exposed. This is a really intelligent conversation. Alyssa, thank you for grounding it for us. All right. All right, people know we took a selfie. This is why we don't take selfies of everything we do. Dad was so proud of me for winning that stupid science fair. 
Mm. <laughs> Bask, ye mortals, in the light of the glowy bear. All right. Used to dream of riding a unicorn as a kid, but then all the unicorns died. And then there was the last unicorn. Dan Avedon sang that one like that. Uh, tear down. No more unicorns, no more princesses, and no more fucking rainbows. Graffiti instead. Words of wisdom, don't fail me now. All right, watch how they fail me. Uh, no, 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 no. Not a hundred percent of the shots. Mom can see this. Quite aware that that's how this Just is going to go down. Steve Jobs. Genius is 1% inspiration, 99% LSD. Shit. <laughs> I tried to avoid the bad one. Ugh. I still smell like last night. Are you fun fact? Shark babies eat their siblings in the womb. Maybe that's why I'm an only child. I'm going to have to fact check that, but I'm pretty sure they wouldn't put in BS. That's kind of... So, so, like, 60% of shark, sharks give birth to live young and 40% uh, eggs? So I'm assuming we're talking about the live young ones. I'd like to think my humor has improved with age. Why can't you be more positive? Aww. I'm Stan Stanwyck and I'll be with you until the top of the hour. Nice. Next up, a special improve. for all Arcadian Bayers. Little known band called Firewalk. Firewalk's playing. Okay. Hey, middle finger. I see that blurry. Better living through chemistry. Mary Jane 420. Wow. Okay. Have have we have we tagged everything in here? Alarm clock. Switch off. Yeah, I probably got some copyright infringement on that because I kept that on for so long. Oh well. I bet long Max Silver traded her hat for beer and booty long ago. And booty? Was there too much booty in the pants? And did she dance? Not mad. How do I want to express my teenage angst today? I'm afraid to get dressed yet. Look. I used to love skateboarding. It's the only mode of transportation that doubles as a middle finger to authority. Mom said I was too young to go. She was wrong. And it was awesome. Hmm. As awesome as some of those shows with Elliot were, they were nothing compared to Firewalk last night. So, so Elliot is her uh, partner in cri crime. I saved all of these. You have to delete that photo of me dancing. Only you could get me to loosen up like that. Happy two month anniversary. Two month anniversary. This, I'm not going to broach this topic yet again, but it's going to happen soon. And this is a topic I actually covered more in The Last of Us, where this is an age and we're in a generation and a level of acceptance where people look more at a person's personality and look at themselves of who they can grow close to as to, to, to determine attractiveness rather than just straight up like gender comes first and everything else second. So, um, so Chloe, we know, rides the fence. I thought that it was more that she had feelings for uh, Max and Rachel than anything else. But this proves it's not just that. It is more of the, she's either, either she does, it is, she is in the gray area, which is fine to live in, or she's in the area of discovering herself. And she just is, when people are discovering themselves, they, they are more likely to, to just try out. And usually they try those things with people closest to him. So Elliot and later Rachel, that makes sense. I'm not going to, I won't yet unless they bring it up more, but she is dating someone, which I did. I don't think they ever covered that. Better see. Max made me this mix CD years ago. And because it was Max, not a single song was pirated. Pirate power. No song is pirated. Irony is strong with this one. All right, that is a door. I will finally get dressed after I see if I... Ah, uh, uh-huh. Oh, I got the bed. Oh, they're not being unlocked in the uh, in the order. Oh, thank God. Oh, I was having a panic. All right. I was having a panic. Right. 
Raven. Firewalk. Yeah, take the shirt I stole. Oh, wait, wait, wait. The bonus outfits. Yeah, I pre-ordered. I'm gonna wear it. Classic Chloe. You bet your ass I'm wearing this. Is it gonna feel right? Hold on. Hold on. I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't necessarily feel right without the, uh... Without the blue hair. Hold on. Let's, tr let's try out my the goods of my endeavor. Do we do we wear a different jacket? No, it's just the t-shirt? And she tucks in the bullets? No. No, 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 no. Those mean something. We're not tucking those in. Changing. Sorry, we're back to classic. Bonus outfits. Yep. Yeah, we could play as something else. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Yes. Uh, I really should get going. She got that hip swagger going on for closing that. Shit. Where's my phone? God, it's not here. How drunk was I last night? Chloe, I said breakfast. Guess I better try calling my phone with mom's. There's a good chance Rachel has it. Okay. Mom's phone is probably in her room. I can use it to call mine, then figure out where the hell I left it. I can't tag home, this. Home sweet home. Whoever said you can't go home again was probably from Arcadia Bay. And he could go home again. He just didn't want to. Projecting much? I think so. All right. We got to tag David shit, by the way. I, I know that's going to be a thing. Uh, this is her room. So hold on. We'll use her phone in just a sec. Checking all corners. All right, let's go in the bathroom. There's the medication that's in the bathroom. Hey, there I am. Look at me. Hip swag even when I'm by myself. Mom's hiding her gray hair to impress her boyfriend. Maybe gray hair is his kryptonite. <laughs> Maybe I should dye my hair gray. No, do it blue! I'm not partial. The preferred towel of Captain Bluebeard, scourge of Arcadia Bay. I see what you did there. Oh, it hurt. It hurt to see what you did there. All right. Let's see if we can. I think Mom's phone is in her bedroom. I know it is. I'm looking at things. Book. Sometimes you have to get knocked down lower than you've ever been to stand up taller than you ever were. Blech. Love after Don't loss. Don't give up on yourself. A single spark can start a fire that burns the entire prairie. Better. So she's still grieving and just not, I mean, who wouldn't be, so. It's weird that mom's always hoarding these old catalogs. It's not like we have any money. It, that is kind of weird, isn't it? I would assume that somebody that's hoarding stuff would, would kind of, I don't know. Mom's finally making her bed again. I guess that's a good sign. I thought I just heard a noise around me. I might have. Let's see. All right. No. Ah, mom. Bad enough that David comes here for dinner. Ah. Love it when you find your mom's toys and condoms. I hate that she hides all our old pictures of dad. What's the matter, mom? You don't want dad to see your new boyfriend? Place it on the dresser. 
She's trying to move on, but I'm Chloe, so. You don't deserve to be stuck in a drawer like this. Illuminati confirmed, so that did something? Or it saved? Did I save? I saved it, I think. <sighs> no. Dad, if you could see us now. I made this for mom when I was like 10 years old. If she wore it now, I'm not sure which of us would be more embarrassed. All right, that's her phone. Look in the purse. I can't believe I used to sneak in there for her makeup. Mom's old engagement ring. Supposed to be mine, if I'm ever stupid enough to get married. Grade B? Fuck you, Arcadia Pond. Wait, Mom's selling her engagement ring? Hmm. That's a conversation piece. How can mom look at this every day and not see what a tool she's dating? Pretty easily she doesn't see him that way. Oh, it's in the house. Cool. Sounds like my phone is definitely nearby. Uh, really? There we go. Wonder how many calls I've missed. All right, we got new messages. We, uh, will you be home by curfew? There will be consequences. And boyfriend. You finished the chem homework? Nope. Dude, that's the third time. I already know everything. Chloe, breakfast. Bring my purse down with you, please. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I think I saw mom's purse in her room. Yep, sure did. Going to grab it. Making some awkward turns. Oh, can you grab my cell phone too? No more dawdling. I need to talk to you. Yeah, that really makes me want to hurry. Coming, Mom. That is a coming mom kind of voice. Yeah. I'm trying not to miss details. This game is all about details. Finally, so. you can put my purse on the dining table. I might still have time for breakfast if you hurry. No, the cassette tape dining is saving. Dining table, here I come. The cassette tape in the bottom left is saving. That That is definitely Illuminati confirmed something's happening with the story in the top left, so. Dad took these photos. Now that David's staying over so much, I wonder how long it'll take Mom to shove them in a drawer somewhere. Hold on. We still have a David shit to tag. So, I keep thinking I'm going to be tagging something soon. Look at a eggs. It's not that I'm ungrateful. It's just that when your mom works in a diner, you're not always in the mood for diner type food. Crockpot. Pot roast? Mom hates pot roast. Do you? How can bacon smell so good, but I'd still rather stuff these sugar bombs in my mouth? Uh oh, that gave another dialogue choice. Dad's old swear jar. We spent the last of his curses on bus fare and milk. Wow. Sean Prescott's son, Nathan, goes to my school. Sounds like the apple didn't fall far from the asshole. All right. The, the real estate developer. The rumor come out. I keep saying that in my videos, and I, it's because I can't get it out of my head. Uh, employee layoffs. Yep. 
I saw Why do I suddenly want to get some fireworks? A wildfire warning has been issued for all of residents of Arcadia this Bay. This is Principal Ray Wells. Let me be emphatic. I have an enormous stick inserted into <laughs> my butt. Thank you. Also, Chloe, you're poor and in trouble. Dude, uh, after a survey of the tuitions of prestige academies of similar caliber, we are simply keeping ourselves competitive. Black Blackwell parents invest in their children, not in their vacation homes. All right. Well, anything else again? Ooh, oh, oh, oh! The deer. The doe. A female deer. Max's thing. Little dude's like, what the hell just happened? <laughs> All right. Made that for mom in an art class when I was like five. She was never a smoker, but it's cool. I was never an artist. Wait, those aren't mom's keys. And these would be David's keys. There's probably a better place for them than the ashtray I made mom. Like his home, maybe? Uh, we'll defend this. Uh-oh. From when Max and I spilled Mom's wine. I think the only reason Mom hasn't recarpeted is so she can stay mad at me. It's my job to water these plants, but it was Dad's job to remind me. So, nobody's fault, really. Hmm. We're already supporting one. Thanks. Yeah. Dad always talked about upgrading to a flat screen. Too bad that never happened. I would have gotten this bad boy in my room. Family pick used to hang here. I... Wow. I can't actually remember which one. That's sad. Aren't you glad you left for Seattle, Max? <sighs> And never looked back? Yeah, she looked so different. Why do they have Max looking so young in the journal, but right here Max looks really old and Chloe looks really young? Uh, Clapton Chloe Bluebeard, Scourge of Arcadia, and her first mate, Long Max Silver. Any letter from Blackwell is never good. Uh-oh. His mom having trouble with payments again? My scholarship doesn't cover everything. <sighs> like I need another reason for Principal Wells to get on my case. <sighs> mom doesn't want me to know, but it's pretty clear her boy toy, David, hasn't worked in like a year. Well, more conversational pieces, right? Chloe, I don't have all day. Would you get over here already? I should see what mom wants before she strokes out. Well, I've opened up two different conversation pieces with this, so... Hey, mom. You wanted to talk? When I send you a text message, Chloe, like last night, I need you to answer. You can just say text. You don't have to say message. And I need you to answer without the snark. Uh, I'll do better. Sorry. I hear you. I'll do better about replying. Thank you. Is that what you wanted to talk about? Nope. What is it with you and David? Always cutting to the chase. Why can't we just have some pleasant conversation before school? Uh-oh. I thought you hated pot roast. You can have a no thank you helping. No, you hate pot roast. I don't care. I don't hate it. And David likes it. And don't say you don't care. So that's what we're doing now? Whatever your boyfriend likes? <clears throat> Are you selling your engagement ring? Chloe, jewelry gets appraised for all sorts of reasons. Like for insurance. Nice dodge. How about this? You don't go in my bedroom when I'm not there. How about you don't ask me to get your damn purse, then? Uh-oh. David to school, David to school, David to school, David to school, David to school. Uh... 
You do realize I hate your boyfriend with every fiber of my being, right? Chloe! You don't hate him. He calls me girly. He's a dickhole. He can be old-fashioned. Yeah, an old-fashioned dickhole. <laughs> ah, right. School. My favorite. You used to love to learn. Yeah. I used to think drugs were lame, too. I wish you wouldn't joke like that. Not a joke. Let's not fight. I made you breakfast. Nah, I'll just grab something later. Oh, you'll enjoy this. The other day I made four eggs, two for David, two for me. And just before I served them, he says, what are you going to eat? I'll enjoy that, huh? Tired, huh? That'll teach you to break curfew. What? I know what time you came home last night. Hmm. And don't think you can get out of school just because you missed the bus again. Why would you assume that... Who do you think your principal calls when you skip? Do you think I enjoy lying for you, saying you're sick just so you don't get expelled? She gets that hip swagger from somewhere. Between your grades and your disregard for my rules, I see you slipping. I'm worried. But mom... The whole point of lowering expectations is so you won't be disappointed in me. Ever again. You're happy doing what you're doing? Fine. Keep at it. Just let me know so I can stop fighting with Blackwell to keep you on scholarship. Money's tight enough as it is. Ooh, I'm gonna go the David route, of course. Maybe David should start paying rent. He spends the night often enough. How would you know? You're never here yourself. David thinks you need discipline. Mm. David should mind his own business. I think it's great David's taking an interest. He's a good man. Maybe he can help. Ooh. I'm going to pick the dad route and I'm going to regret it. Dad was a good man. That's not fair. I'm glad your father still has a place in your heart. But sometimes we need to make more room in our hearts for new people. And sometimes, when we're incredibly desperate and lonely, we choose the absolute wrong kind of people to let into our hearts. Mom. David's had some hard times too, you know. If he's kind enough to share his experience, I expect you to listen. <laughs> like I'd let him get within 15 feet of me. When he takes you to school today. Very funny. Uh-oh. You will be nice. You will be respectful. And you will say thank you. Are you serious? This is such... What, Chloe? Such what? <sighs> Mom's trying. I guess. Maybe I should, too. But what's the point in getting along if it means pretending everything's fine when it's not? Ooh, I'm gonna be this guy. I'm gonna leave it off here. We're gonna have the next one very, very soon, so don't worry about that. But yeah, yeah, I, I, I'm gonna think about this for two seconds as I go ahead and uh, uh, get some other things finished up real quick. So thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you thought in the comments. Give a thumbs up if you liked it. You can try to tell me what you think I should do. It's way too late. I've already played it, so. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Hope you're enjoying. If you want to know when the next one's coming out, subscribe and you'll know. And otherwise, I will see you back here for the next part. Really, really soon. Bye!